Hello. Hello everyone. Welcome to another Kerbal Space Programs 2 stream. My name's Peter. Thank you very much for joining. Bear with me while I get everything set up and uh, all of that. Um, hello, Austin. Hello, Illis, if you're still here. And uh, yeah, so here's all a bit. Uh, we're going to see how things go tonight. Obviously, in the past, we've had some issues with... Uh, frame rates and all that sort of thing. How's it going, Austin? I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're well. But yeah, so tonight we're going to take a bit of a step back compared to previous uh, streams where we were attempting to head to Duna. <laughs> Attempt something arguably easier. And... Uh, And uh, we're going to head to Mun and Minmus in one flight, hopefully. Um, so the plan is to, um, yeah, try that. Um, yeah, I think my PC is going to struggle with KSP for a bit. Oh. All good, yeah, currently flying. Yeah, haven't been here for a long time, unfortunately. That's fair. I'm absolutely fine. Should we give this one more try? Um. And we'll get into it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it yet or not. It is a lot. Obviously, it needs a lot more stuff. Um, we need a career mode back and stuff like that, you know. Dusted engine already. Yeah. That's because I'm streaming on the same PC, I reckon. But as we can see... Flying works well. But it also is a bit laggy, even in normal gameplay, when not streaming. That's it. Right, let's go back to our original vessel. That's not what I wanted to open, is it? There we go. Good. Hello, Mehmet. How is it going? Good to see you, man. 
I meant to reach out and see how you were, and I know I got waylaid, sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad Ulstein's here. It's good to see some regular fa old faces, you know. So this is what we built in the last stream. I am going to modify it. Um, I don't think we need all of these, so I'm going to get rid of these. There we go. Some bigger. Probably these size, aren't they? No, look. XLs. Okay. Fine, mate. It's been a while. Yep, I am hope you're well. Um, all things considered. Good to see you, man. I started my Around the World series in the 737 to let you know. But I think I'm going to change the time that I stream that as well. At the minute, it's really struggled at the late time on a Saturday, so I might actually bring that to an earlier time. Okay, so what I'm looking for is quite a high uh, thrust. Thanks, thank you very much. I'm glad you managed to see him. Um, thrust to weight is 0 0.971, so that's not bad, actually. I'm going to be honest, that is not bad. What we do need, though, now is some solid rocket boosters, and we might be good to go. So, let's get some... Uh, we want coupling, don't we? Get some side couplers. Uh, okay. Large. Two. There we go. And then... go with these then. Do it, you know. It's not ideal, but it's definitely closer. Really glad, yeah. So I think that's going to be our first attempt. I've got a... Um... I can't do that. So... Do this instead. Says so engineer report does state that we're missing RCS and docking will be difficult. We're not planning to dock, so it doesn't matter. Let's launch. You don't need to be taught how to fly a rocket. We've done it enough. Okay, ready? In. start yeah not bad is it not bad
pretty sick, doesn't it? can't see it unfortunately I really do need to move my mouse and that I might have to play about with my overlay No, we lost control. No, that's fine. That's fine. What is our goal and what parameters to follow on screen? I'm gonna actually uh, do a barrel roll, apparently. Right. Right. Bear with. I'm going to make some quick changes, bear with me. So we are only one, one subscriber away from 400. And uh, as soon as we hit 400 and sustain it, uh, we will be going to uh, streaming Concord. What is our goal? The goal today, uh, for today's flight, is to reach um, a place called uh, the Two Moons of Kerbin. And that is uh, Mun and Minmus. What you can do is change and move our stabilizers. Get rid of these ones, they're probably going to destabilize us a bit. Let's go back. And I might just have to play around with this a little bit just to get it aligned back right. See what it isn't. There we go. So now you can see the ball in the corner. So this is our, so down here on the left, on the left hand side we have our throttle and our surface speed, our speed, sorry, and our ground altitude here. Okay. Now down here, uh, below that, apoapsis, which is where the name of it, this channel comes from, is, uh, Anything over 70,000 meters is in space, okay? And periapsis is the same. Peri Apoapsis being the highest point of an orbit, periapsis being the lowest. And uh, you want both of those to be over 70,000 if you're wanting to be in orbit. Oh God, it's doing the thing. Yeah, 
It's got a lot to go to be as good as the uh, old game became. Right, let's go again. Like, for instance, you'll notice that there is, like, the smoke plume and that comes out from here. Uh, that works even if the engine is pointing the opposite wrong way. At that point, we can be free from gravity. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Oh, and we're dead. We're not, but... Try that again, shall we? Not laggy at all, no, not at all. Um, I'm not sure what the weight of the, aircraft, uh, the spacecraft is. Uh, we can have a look. Um, I think. It's flight status. Uh, maybe we'll have to wait until we're back. But it's only. The amount of thrust that we have total here is only 1.1-ish times what? Um, is uh, the weight. Now this plume works even if the point rocket's upside down, which is weird. This is quite a large aircraft and is uh, capable of carrying four, at least four people. And c could in effect get to Mars on the old bottom end. accelerating 90, 95 meters per second uh, we use meters and meters per second in uh, Kerbal and uh, yeah
Be sure why it's a bit so unstable. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we are actually going downwards now. Change these, I think. Um, we go again. <laughs> Pretty sure how. Yeah, so uh, there's a different version of these where it's uh, instead of just having the, uh, the stabilizer uh, control surfaces, it's like a supersonic jet in that the whole can the whole stabilizer turns. Maybe they'll have a bit more effect. at 13,000 meters or heading towards 13,000 meters. Pretty much as soon as I put any input in, it goes. At all, I don't think. I think someone's already created a uh, equivalent of CCAN. of fuel. to space easy it's just whether or not we get to our uh, orbit there we go we're going sideways going to be hard though. This might not make it to the moons this time, but we'll see.
I'm literally just going to keep it burning now. We are going the wrong way. Apparently heading south. So that's always good. We're going into a polar orbit. That means we're actually using even more fuel than we could have done. So it's just burn until this uh these side boosters run out. You see, we need to be in the easterly uh, orbit. Wait, three, two, one. And, oh, there we go. That went weird. in this we have it she's gonna go uh, point periapsis now There we go. Now let's just get it, let it go back down to Earth. Or Kerbin, even. We've got to space, and we could get to orbit, I think, quite easily. But we don't need to this time. Actually, what we could do is... as well you don't get any heat uh, uh, heat effects yet either starting to descend stability now I kind of wish we could speed it up a bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Division, the uh, publisher for this game, actually replied to my tweet.
It was still doing 600-ish meters per second. Shoots her out. Letting that come down now. Hopefully we get to bring Dondin back safe. There you go. The parachutes have deployed. Nice, there we go, we landed. Now we can recover. Okay, we can revert back to VAB. missing not enough fuel uh so what happened well, obviously we had the stability issues directional stability yeah and we wasted a lot of fuel doing that um so we need to fix first and foremost need to fix that and then we can try again and see where we get um that will help um There we go. So that's one thing. Right, now, let's have a look at the arrow. As you can see... Stabilizer was not very good. So, we're going to add. First glance, center gravity looks a little high on this one. 
It may well be. center of mass is i mean typically with a rocket if the center of mass goes through the line of the center of thrust you should be good in theory okay um throw this again shall we so our staging. I'm going to call this uh, un un plus one. Let's see if this works a bit better. I have another plan. I'm hoping that that corrects the control enough. See how now the whole thing? That's got to help, hasn't it? Right. Do that to sort out the weird thing where with the um yeah right here we go Dondin's at it again So the other way I can correct the control issues is by using uh, engines that have more thrust vectoring. That can be the next step. I think what I would then do is get rid of the solid rocket mo motors and put liquid fueled boosters on. plan B. Plan B is to go to plan C.
So, we're going to ditch solid rocket motors. It's weird because we have stability while they're on. It's as soon as they go that we lose stability. So. Seven two, yep. Isn't currently the biggest engine in the game. That's Mephalox, I believe. Three thousand seven hundred and one. Now, where's the vector? I'm gonna need about four or five of these. See how much thrust to weight ratio we have. So that is part one, okay? Sides. Does kind of work then. Right. 
we go. The reason I've used these is literally for one reason only. There's a lot of fuel. This probably could quite easily get most of its vessel to its destination as a whole. And I have a quest for me. You have a quest for me. Build the starship, I'll follow. Um, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm working on this at the moment, so. So I'm not sure this is going to be enough force, but we'll see. So that this is probably equally as powerful. and the entire crew would like to welcome you aboard on this aircraft. Thank you for the follow, Claire. <laughs> nice, nice. Let's do the uh, fixie hammer. There we go. Right. Three, two, one. It is massive, that's why. But with these vectoring engines, it should have a lot of control. Fingers crossed. I didn't do the fuel cross feed. Oh. Oh well. Thank you, thank you. Fifteen engines. Tell me what you had for dinner if you'd like. Food is always good.
This is going to be nowhere near as efficient as it could be. Is muted. I shouldn't be. You can, you can. The vector and that also, all of the engines that I'm using here exist in Kerbal One. Oh, we've got some structural wobble now. Could say too much control. There is another way to do it, Austin. thing. Hello. Let's go back to the one that I made last week. I can fix it. If you look at Dondin up in the corner, he does kind of look a bit spaced out. No pun intended. going oh, 
now, but we are. Oh. Yeah, the turbulence is uh, subsiding now. I nearly got into a very elliptical, but still nearly got into an orbit. Okay, let's see if this works. And it worked, sort of. We're going to warp out to our apoapsis now. All the other bits will fall back down to the planet. Yeah, and what we can also do is... Good thing we don't need aerodynamics now. my favorite rocket okay um well you won't see it because it's over here but i've got a saturn 5 lego rocket um i took delta 3 I do too. Um, should have a look at oh, what's it called? There's a website where people have made their own plan, like instruction sets. Um, and you, one of those is uh, there's a load of them that are rockets. If I can find it, I've got a screenshot of it on my phone somewhere. I was saw it whilst at work once, I think. Rebrickable, maybe? Yeah, rebrickable. 
We've got a Delta IV Heavy, a SpaceX Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, uh, Atlas Vs, and a, uh, yeah. We've got a few. Um, Yeah, Delta 3 was the one that I liked, where it was like wider at the top than it was at the bottom and lo loads of uh, solid rocket boosters. Found that really interesting. a space shuttle at some point as well. There is, yeah. There's also an unofficial kit for a launch tower that's really expensive. Uh, if you ever watch any of Scott Manley's videos, it's in the background. Um, yes, I would love the Lego Titanic. It would fill my flat though, <laughs> or my home, you know. Okay, that did not go to plan. Oh, we did a flyby of man. close bought this and not a clue long <laughs> well fair fair do you have any plans on where you're flying on thursday it will be with virtual uh fly uk um i haven't looked yet actually um that altered our um our orbit we're gonna go back down to Kerbin. That's that. Do you believe the first time I flew in this game, I managed to get to Baman? Have you flown the E-170? No, I would like to. I don't have it. I don't own it. Um... I don't even know how much it is at the minute. But I would like it because actually they fly a, fly past my house all the time in real life. Well, I've heard it's come a long way. It's £30. It's not that bad, actually. Um, I have heard it's come a long way. Good it is at the moment. The other thing I thought about was the uh, Just Flight 
RJ100 series when it comes out. I think that will probably be in Fly UK. But uh, I'm not sure. Not sure what aircraft I'm going to be flying yet. Let's have a look at that. I can look at that at least. And easily. Yeah, Q400 would be good. ATR4272 would be nice. A good 787. A 777 would be nice. Um, I used to love flying the 777. Was it in 2000, uh, FS2002? So last time we flew in the um, 737. Time before that was CRJ. Uh... We are due, potentially, to fly the Twin Otter. So I'm thinking of a Twin Otter or uh, Grand Caravan, actually. Potentially, you do New Zealand. How would that sound? Yeah. P3D or uh, X plane. I haven't done a Grand Caravan flight for a long, long time. Yeah, but you got like Zebo mod on that, haven't you? And uh, Tolus. I've never flown uh, P3D, so I don't know. Fair, fair. Yeah, but who's bothered by the 767? I'm not sure I am. It's not a plane I've ever, oh, ever really been a fan of. I don't know why. I, I cannot wait for the 757 as well. That'd be really good. Seven four seven. Which version, sorry. Shutting down the engine. Turn off stability control. Okay, and what sim is that in? Is that in P3D? Plane 12. She did a, a decent 747, 787, and 777 for a, a Microsoft Flight Simulator. I used to like the 777 uh, in FS 20, 2002 because uh, it felt like a small plane to fly. Didn't feel much heavier than a big, uh, smaller one. Yeah, that would be cool. A350. I did have a little flight in the A310 the other day. Um, I haven't flown it at all. 
Yes, it is. Uh, fly by wire we're doing one, so it'll be free as well, I would imagine. MDAE? No, MD. Uh, DC10. There we go. M DC10's coming out as well. MD11, that's it. Okay, um, we need to go back to VAB to reconfigure our fuel flow. Let me give it another go. Yeah, you know I almost thought that getting to the Mun would be easy after the first time. Apparently not. By the way, guys, don't forget if you are new to the channel, um, do consider that like consider hitting that like button and subscribing. Uh, if you're interested in aviation, uh, which a lot of you guys are, as there is some crossover between space exploration, aviation, and all of that, um, I would be bringing out Concord once we hit 400 subscribers on YouTube. Be one away. Some stability enhancement right there. Um, like fuel. Oh, thanks for the sub, Austin. <laughs> that got to get us across the line. We were out of 400, actually, for a very short amount of time. Um, but yeah, just needs to hold out. Need to start, carry on going. Three to 400 has been like the hardest uh, 100 to get since uh, zero to 100, to be honest. Right, now that that's configured, let's hope that that's okay. Otherwise, we can use Duna 1, which is basically the same vessel. Let's launch. See, when you do that, that is not right. That's not how it's supposed to behave. So if you go to map and then come out, it now works. Okay. We would fix the issues. Go. Like a 
about the rocket plumes in this is they just look powerful. Time to go. 50 meters per second. What's that in there? That's 111 miles an hour. There we go. Captain and the entire crew would like to welcome you aboard on this aircraft. Eighty miles per hour. Two hundred and twenty five miles per hour. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Acceleration has slowed a little now. Oh, wrong way. Stable than it was. This way. And we we'll screwed up. Oh, we do not have much luck recently, do we? Making progress is getting better each time in terms of controllability and stability. My navigation, on the other hand, it, well, that kind of is what gets it wrong. Clyde, if you're still here, I would recommend the tutorials. There are tutorials in this game, I believe. And I think there's like a area, like a section in the part menu 
um, where there is kind of a basic rocket design if you put the right parts in the order. This is not a basic rocket boat. Thank you very much, Lucas. Yeah, just got to stay there now. If we need to stay there till Saturday, we can do Concord. How's it going, by the way, Lucas? Keeping an eye on our apps this high. That's fine, that's absolutely fine. What's doing on this, however, is not fine. I would love to have for this mech jab. Going east. Yes, we are. The idea is that these two outer ones should empty first and fill into this one, and they get separated off. Saturday stream on Sunday seems like everything worked out pretty good with big, without big complications. Yes, it did. Not like Thursday. <laughs> A nice smooth landing as well.
So we'll be back into a prop plane potentially on Thursday. I think I'm going to go in the Grand Caravan and fly through, uh, fly in New Zealand maybe. We have had that world update recently, so you know it'd be nice to use it. So all I'm doing is trying to keep this pointed on this line here in the gimbal. Still got a full tank of fuel. I like it. Probably on Saturday, as long as we stay over 400. Could do next week potentially, um, as it is Easter. Uh, by the way, Saturday stream is. Um, I think I'm going to try it at seven thirty. We really did not get a lot of views on Saturday, and we've been struggling recently on Saturday at that time. So I think I'm going to try and change it and see if that makes a difference. Probably be at seven thirty like normal. So about the same time as tonight's stream started. In Germany, we're even an hour ahead of you, and it's hard mostly fine because it's just too late. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, and I'm glad that that works out. I know, like, Mehmet, who was in earlier, uh, he's in Turkey, and so obviously them sort of times are struck for him sometimes. Space, by the way. Change as well. Okay. They stole us an hour. Yes, they did that. It actually happened Saturday night during the stream. Um, it was uh, 1 a.m. for us, and uh, it. But when it hit 1 a.m., it was instantly 2 a.m.
Okay. I like the time change, time change. I mean, like that, the sun is shining longer, but I don't like the darkness in the morning. I love it when I wake up and the sun is already there to give me good vibes. Well, to be honest, it's only just started to be sunny when I um, I only recently got to a point where it was actually light during my commute to work. Um, so, unfortunately, um, I'm not really seeing the benefit of the sun. I had a little bit. Um, but I, I kind of wish it had started to get light and now that kind of ruined it. So, you know. There was that. in Norway the time change is pretty nice yeah I bet I bet especially I don't know how far north in Norway you are but obviously I know there's parts that like infinite daylight and infinite night time uh, depending on what time of season what season it is what time of year so that's absolutely fair Alison, no. I don't know a lot of the places in Norway, but I will have a look and see where that is on the map. That's how north I live. Oh, wow, that's north. Oh, no, it's not. It just looks north. So you're about uh, in line with the Faroe Islands. That's cool. cold I mean that's pretty cold oh yeah I was supposed to start the burn we get a lot of snow though yeah see we get uh, Lucas says do you see the northern lights day by day in there in Norway
I don't live north enough to see them every day, but sometimes I can see them. Yeah, see, it's like a, a miracle if we see them, I will say. Yeah. I think I like that. We've still got our center course stage. But I'm keeping it because I want it to impact. You've been Svalbard, nice. Um we yeah, like we get the northern lights here like once in a lifetime. <laughs> um it seems to be a little bit more regular recently. Um but I've not got the chance to see them because I didn't know until they'd already been and gone. Um, okay. That's what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, South Dakota, which is where uh, my wife's family live, they go down to about minus 25, 30. And even more so sometimes. Pretty warm country, yeah. That's always surprising, isn't it? Okay, we've got about 35 seconds till our burn. Oh, by the way. Could have got rid of that. But that's fine. On average, where I live, it's about minus one or minus two. Cool. Well, it is, it is highs of... I think it is highs of nine today here. Plus nine, that is. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think it's because it's surrounded by a lot of water, uh, especially salt water. One. It's the Gulf Stream, yeah, that as well. Lucas, I've Apo, I've never really understood what the get, uh, point of this game is. Um, understood what this game is about. The goal is reaching the moon and other planets with your own rocket. Basically, yes. You run your own space agency and you build your own rockets and planes and space planes and all of that. You can experiment and you know toy around with rockets and see what blows up and what flies successfully and go from there. Go to a whole solar system once this game gets into it, its stride. Um, you should also be able to. Uh, no, it doesn't yet. This is effectively like what Alpha KSP1 was like in the sense that it did not have a campaign mode. Um, there will be, I believe, and it will include interstellar travel. It's still early access. Um, think of it like a beta or an alpha. That's what this game is like at the moment. I didn't add any feet, by the way. I haven't. Oh, no, I tried. And I could not get on with the controls.
Yeah, I just struggled with controls. There's a bit in the tutorial where you have to fight two, two other people and uh, I couldn't get turned around quickly enough. Yeah, that would be fun. What's that? Uh, Lucas, what sounds not too bad, but it looks very graphic, graphic intensive. Is that elite? Yeah, Still didn't put any landing legs on, did I? Talking about the game, ah. Sometimes I've seen you had really bad FPS. Yeah, I've had it on this. I've had it on um, on Microsoft Flight Simulator. My my hold up on Microsoft Flight Simulator is the processor now. At the end of the year, I hope to change that. Sometimes I play X Plane 12 instead of Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I actually have some frames per second. Brilliant. Phoenix is unplayable for me, averaging like 15 FPS. See, like I get about 15, 20, really unstable FPS actually. Um, with PMDG 737 and actually most aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, but obviously some of that comes down to streaming and that's fair, that's fair. I have a 2016 average 30, 30 FPS on. See, it's, it's when I'm on ground. That makes a big difference. Starting to get some details on the surface, guys. The effect on these. Um... 
frames. You need a super computer to get good frames. Yeah. Uh, my price, my graphics card is definitely good enough. It's just I don't have a decent processor. And dust kicked up. Landed on the moon. Or man even. We landed on man. Get a screenshot. So taking off again, apparently. Going again. Don't need to escape an atmosphere, so we can go sideways pretty much straight away. So the big limiting factor on Microsoft Flight Simulator is processor. I see I've got a 2700X. Get rid of some dead weight. That's what I've got, 2700X. Problem is, is the 3600 is equivalent to 2700X in terms of processing power. Um, they got a lot of efficiency. From generation to generation, there's a lot of efficiency gains. They go by to Mun. Good frame, mate, right there.
careful with a bit of our side boosters and all that. I've run two, so. Which minimus as well. That'd be good. If we can reach minimus, I'll be happy. Explains a lot. Free screens are heavy on your specs, man. Yeah. Free screen, so I'll just have to suffer. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Urban in relation to us there. There, there it is. for sim especially while flying the more the better wow
be actually cool, but yeah, but then you can wonder having low frame rates. Yeah. I actually use an iPad for uh, charts. Ten seconds to burn. Seconds. Oh no. I mucked up. I don't have any engines left. I accidentally decoupled them. Okay. Well, we didn't make it to Minmus in one flight. But, uh. Let's just have a bit of fun with some a plane and then we'll call it a day, I think. Sounds really good on Elite, I will say. I've done it. I can't believe we would have done it. And I mucked up and hit the wrong button. So this is what I was saying about, um, Got pod. Some Meflox bits and couplers, they're like the basic parts. So, aircraft. So now so if it would be real cool, but just unplayable, yeah. size cockpit but playing like I do now with a, just a hotas it would actually be unplayable yeah trainable tuner sup hello trainable tuner welcome guys nice to meet you I'm off for today see you on Thursday same time absolutely will probably as I say be in New Zealand with the Grand Caravan um yeah I'm gonna build a quick plane Little maneuverable little thing, you know. To school tomorrow and all that. Yeah, I know. I got work tomorrow, so. No feeling. you later guys
It'd be good to see you on first day, Elstein. So slightly more. Go. Got our engines in now. I'm no that fly, shall we? Some wheels. Turn off steering on those. Let's launch this and see what happens. Back to space center, reload it in, and go back out. And then we'll have a fly around, and then we'll be done for the day. What I really want to do is just see how this flies. Thank you. 
you don't get it. Okay, I'm going to look at something. Okay, all I can do then is try this. Someone's gone. Anyway, guys, with that, we'll call it a day. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream.
I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.